Okay, today we're going to be thinking about um, solving modulus inequalities. Now we're going to be looking at two methods to do this, both um, algebraically but also by um, considering the um, graph of the modulus. Um, there's two properties that we're going to be using to help us here. So if we have the modulus of A and it's less than or equal to B, then this is the equivalent of saying minus b is less than or equal to a is less than or equal to b. So and if you think about it, that would make sense. That if a is less than or equal to b, then a would sit in the range of minus b to, to b. And if the modulus of a is greater than or less than b, that is the equivalent of saying um, a is less than or equal to minus b or a is greater than or the same as b. Um, we're going to look at a couple of examples that are going to illustrate this point to us. So actually, um, we'll leave this here um, to help us as we go forward. So, let's solve the modulus of 2x minus 5 is less than 3. So, this is the one that we're going to be thinking about here. So, we've got, if this is the case, then, well, in this case, b would be 3. So, minus 3 must be less than or equal to 2x minus 5 less than oh, oh, there's no equals less than 3 so let's solve this so we're going to add 5 to each side so that's going to give us 2 is less than 2x is less than 8 and then divide through by 2, 1 is less than x is less than 4. So let's now do the, um, the graph of this. So if we have y equals the modulus of 2x minus 5, and we also have y equals 3, and we plot these. So we have um, the modulus of 2x minus 5 is going to equal 2x minus 5 if x is greater than or equal to 2 and minus 2x minus 5 if x is less than 2. So 2 it's two and a half, sorry. Because it's, it's minus five. Two and a half. Let me see that there it's not very plain. So this is two and a half. And then we've got y equals three here. And then the intersect at 1 and 4. Um, because if we think of 2x minus 5 equals 3. And if we solve that, you're going to get 2x equals 8x equals um one, I mean four, sorry, and then if you do the minus 2x minus 5 equals 3 and you solve that you get x, that's x equals 1 there and that's what we had previously. Um, so that's our first example. Let's look at a second one which we're going to use this um, 
real 4. So we're going to solve the modulus of 2x minus 1 greater than or equal to the modulus of 3, x, 3 minus x. Sorry. So let's do the algebraic one and we're going to use the property of if x, the modulus of a is greater or less than greater than or equal to the modulus of b that's equivalent of saying a squared is equal to sorry not equal is greater than or equal to b squared so let's square both of these so you'll have 2x minus 1 squared greater than or equal to 3 3 minus x squared. Now we're going to um, expand these out so we will get 4x squared minus 4x plus 1 greater than or equal to 9 minus 6x plus x squared and we're now going to um, bring these over to this side so we'll end up with well, this will be minus from this one, so it's going to be 3x squared. Then it's going to be minus 4x plus 6x, which will be plus 2x. And then it'll be 1 minus 9, which is minus 8, is greater than or equal to 6. So then we're going to factorise this. So if we factorise this, we get 3x, and we get x, and we get minus 4. And we'll get plus 2 greater than or equal to x. So when will this be the case? So solving for x, we're going to get x is going to be less than or equal to minus 2 or x is going to be greater than or equal to 4 over 3. I've mixed them up. So if we were to look at that, you've got minus 2, 4 over 3. And at this point, the inequality is negative here, and it's positive here and here. Now again, we can graph this. So we're going to have, we're going to sketch y equals 2x minus 1 and y equals 3 minus x. Um, actually, I'm going to get this onto a new sheet. So we'll write the inequality up here. It is, um, what was our inequality? 2x minus 1 greater than or equal to 3 minus x. So we're going to let y equals 2x minus 1 and we have a y equals 3 minus x and we're going to sketch these. Let's get our axes. So 2x minus 1 is the same as 2x minus 1 if x is greater than or equal to half or minus 2x minus 1 if x is less than a half. And we've got 3 minus x is equal to 3 minus x if x is um, greater or equal than to 3 and minus 3x minus oh three minus x if x is less than 3. So let's draw this one on first. So we have down at 
a half, it'll go like something like that. So that's y equals 3x minus 1. Um, modulus and the other one we're going to have over here x is 3 it will cross that's not drawn very well let me just redraw that it's meant to be kind of over here and here so we've got point A and we've got point B. So let's think about what we're, what we're thinking about. We're thinking about when is, um, this is the modulus of 3 minus x, oh I've done a 3 here, it's meant to be a 2, sorry. Um, when is this greater than this. So are we thinking about here and here? Because here it was below it. So 2x minus 1 equals x minus 3 when x is minus 2. It's not drawn very well, but that's meant to be, that'll be minus 2. And 2x minus 1 is equal to minus x minus 3. When 3x equals 4, x equals 4 over 3. So this is 4 over 3 here. And that's what we had previously. So hence x is less than or equal to minus 2 or x is greater than or equal to 4 over 3. So I hope that helps.